Have you ever felt the earth breathe beneath your feet? Have you sensed its ribs expanding and contracting like a giant stirring from a deep and restless sleep? Beneath Yellowstone, hidden within molten veins of fire and stone, an invisible clock is ticking, not just any clock, a time bomb of ash and fury, a force so immense that if unleashed, it could darken the skies and redraw the continents. The ground is rising, the pressure is building, Yellowstone is shifting. Some call it a myth, an overhyped doomsday prophecy. Others whisper of an impending reckoning, a disaster that comes once every 600,000 years and the clock is running out. What's really happening beneath this smoldering landscape? How close are we to a super eruption that could reshape the world as we know it? Stay with me as we descend into the fiery depths of Yellowstone's supervolcano. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do it now. Because this isn't just a story. This is the reality that sleeps beneath us. The power beneath Yellowstone. Beneath the stunning landscapes of Yellowstone lies an ancient beast, a supervolcano with the potential to unleash devastation on a continental scale. This volcanic system isn't just big, it's colossal. In 2015, researchers made a startling discovery. Yellowstone's magma chamber was far larger than previously believed, extending 55 miles wide and containing enough molten rock to fill the Grand Canyon 11 times over. Even more shocking, another reservoir of even hotter magma was found lurking beneath the first, meaning the system is essentially a two-layered cauldron of fire and fury. The weight of all that magma exerts incredible pressure on the crust above, causing the ground to rise by one to two inches every year. This uplift is a clear sign that the system is active and constantly shifting. But what does this movement really mean? Could it be a precursor to an eruption? Scientists closely monitor these changes, measuring gas emissions, heat flux, and ground deformation to detect warning signs. Despite popular fears, experts assure us that while Yellowstone is active, it is not showing signs of imminent eruption. Instead, the slow inflation of the caldera is a normal part of its life cycle. The real question isn't if Yellowstone will erupt again, but when and whether humanity will be ready when it does. Seismic activity and eruption risk. When you think of Yellowstone, you might picture geysers like Old Faithful shooting steam sky high. But there's another force at work beneath the surface, one that is far less predictable. Earthquakes. Yellowstone sits atop a massive network of fault lines where pressure from underground magma shifts the landscape. In March 2023 alone, the region recorded 354 earthquakes, with the most powerful reaching magnitude 3.7. While that might sound alarming, this level of activity is actually normal for Yellowstone. On average, 1,500 to 2,500 earthquakes shake the region each year, most of them too small to be felt by visitors. But what do these quakes mean? In most cases, they signal magma movement beneath the crust, not necessarily an impending eruption. However, they also indicate stress buildup, which could trigger hydrothermal explosions. These are localized but violent bursts of steam and boiling water, capable of blasting craters several hundred feet wide. Scientists believe that hydrothermal eruptions occur every few hundred years, and while they don't compare to a super eruption, they pose a real risk to tourists and park infrastructure. As for the big one, experts at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory assure us that there are currently no signs that a super eruption is imminent. The underground magma is too solidified to trigger a large-scale explosion anytime soon. However, if a sudden surge of molten material were to enter the system, it could change everything. For now, Yellowstone slumbers, but as history has shown, it won't stay asleep forever. Yellowstone's explosive past. Yellowstone's eruptions aren't just massive. They are among the most destructive volcanic events in Earth's history. This supervolcano has erupted at least three times, each event altering the landscape on a continental scale. The most recent super eruption, known as the Lava Creek event, occurred approximately 640,000 years ago. 
it ejected over 1,000 cubic kilometers of volcanic material, 2,500 times the amount released during Mount St. Helens. Helen's 1980 eruption. On this day in 1980, Mount St. Helens blew its top at 8.32 in the morning. The massive eruption triggered landslides, mud flows, and floods that killed 57 people and caused vast amounts of damage to timber, land, businesses, and wiped out entire neighborhoods. Ash from this event blanketed most of North America, affecting global temperatures and altering ecosystems. But that's not all. New research has uncovered two even older super eruptions, one of which, occurring around 8.7 million years ago, is now recognized as the largest eruption ever recorded in the entire Snake River Yellowstone volcanic province. This colossal event released more than double the volume of material as the Lava Creek eruption, devastating vast regions and reshaping the terrain for millennia. So what does this tell us about the future? If we follow a simple pattern, Yellowstone appears to erupt every 600,000 to 800,000 years, with the last super eruption having occurred 640,000 years ago. Some argue that another one is overdue. However, scientists caution that volcanoes don't follow predictable schedules. While the possibility of another eruption exists, it could happen tomorrow or 100,000 years from now. For now, Yellowstone remains one of the most closely monitored volcanic systems on Earth. But one thing is certain, when it awakens, the world will bear witness to nature's raw, unstoppable power. Warning signs of a super eruption. If a super eruption were to happen, would we see it coming? Scientists believe so. Rising magma, increased heat emissions, and more frequent earthquakes would serve as warning signs. However, the challenge lies in the unpredictability of these signals. Some volcanic systems display signs of activity for thousands of years without ever erupting, while others can go from dormancy to eruption within decades. One of the most critical warning signs is ground deformation. As magma accumulates beneath the surface, the ground above can rise, sometimes forming noticeable bulges. This has been observed in places like Yellowstone, where the ground has risen several inches in recent decades, suggesting magma movement. Additionally, increased hydrothermal activity, such as hotter geysers and more frequent steam explosions, can indicate that magma is nearing the surface. Seismic activity is another crucial indicator. Swarms of small earthquakes often precede an eruption as magma forces its way through rock. Scientists track these swarms carefully analyzing their depth and frequency to determine whether they signal an imminent eruption or just normal underground movement. In the case of a supervolcano, we might see thousands of tremors leading up to an event with increasing intensity over time. Advanced technology, including satellite-based GPS and ground sensors, allows volcanologists to continuously monitor these changes. While scientists may not be able to predict an exact date, they can provide early warnings if they detect rapid or extreme changes in Yellowstone's activity, potentially giving the world valuable time to prepare. The catastrophic aftermath. What if Yellowstone did erupt? The immediate effects would be devastating. The eruption would eject massive amounts of ash, lava, and gases into the atmosphere, covering much of North America in a thick blanket of volcanic material. Entire cities, within a several hundred mile radius could be buried under feet of ash, and anyone caught in the immediate blast zone would not survive. Beyond the initial destruction, the long-term consequences would be equally dire. Volcanic ash is highly abrasive and, if inhaled, can cause severe respiratory issues. It would also contaminate water supplies, collapse buildings, and render vast areas uninhabitable. The fine particles in the atmosphere would block sunlight, leading to what scientists call a volcanic winter. Global temperatures could drop significantly, disrupting agriculture and leading to widespread food shortages. Economic collapse would be almost inevitable. Supply chains would be crippled, transportation networks would be halted, and financial markets would crash 
as uncertainty and chaos spread worldwide. Countries dependent on American agricultural exports would suffer the most as food supplies dwindle and prices skyrocket. Could anything be done to stop such a catastrophe? Some researchers have proposed drilling into the magma chamber to release pressure gradually. Others suggest injecting water into the system to cool the magma. However, both ideas carry significant risks. Interfering with a supervolcano might not reduce the danger, but instead trigger an eruption prematurely. The reality is that, as of now, humanity lacks the technology and knowledge to control or prevent such an event. Other supervolcanoes around the world. Yellowstone isn't the only supervolcano that demands our attention. Around the world, several other massive volcanic systems pose similar threats. One of the most concerning is Campi Flegre in Italy, a caldera that has been experiencing significant ground uplift and increased seismic activity. Unlike Yellowstone, which is located in a sparsely populated region, Campi Flegre sits near Naples, home to over 3 million people. If it erupts, it could cause catastrophic damage to one of Europe's most densely populated areas. In the United States, the Long Valley Caldera in California remains another major concern. It last erupted around 760,000 years ago, producing one of the largest eruptions in North American history. Scientists have observed ongoing uplift in parts of the caldera, along with swarms of earthquakes that suggest magma movement beneath the surface. Indonesia's Toba volcano is another ticking time bomb. It was responsible for one of the largest eruptions in Earth's history about 74,000 years ago. That event triggered a global climate change event, possibly reducing the human population to a few thousand individual. Today, Toba remains active, and scientists continue to monitor it for signs of future eruptions. Which of these supervolcanoes will erupt first? While Yellowstone garners much attention, some experts believe Campi Flegrai, or Long Valley, could erupt sooner due to their more frequent seismic activity. However, predicting a super eruption remains one of the greatest challenges in modern geology. For now, continued monitoring and preparedness are our best defenses against these potential global disasters. The power of underwater volcanoes. Supervolcanoes aren't just found on land. In 2018, an underwater eruption near Madagascar formed a new volcano over 2,700 feet tall, an event that took scientists by surprise. The deep ocean remains one of the least explored regions of our planet, and new geological discoveries like this prove that Earth is constantly evolving in ways we still struggle to understand. These underwater eruptions release massive amounts of energy, spewing molten rock, toxic gases, and mineral-rich compounds into the ocean. In some cases, the release of gases such as carbon dioxide and methane can even impact global climate systems. Unlike their land-based counterparts, underwater volcanoes are often difficult to detect. Because they lie beneath thousands of feet of water, seismic instruments and satellite imagery are usually required to monitor them. When these volcanoes erupt, they can trigger underwater landslides, which in turn may generate powerful tsunamis. The 1883 eruption of Krakatoa, for example, created waves that traveled as far as South Africa. While most underwater eruptions do not pose an immediate danger to humans, those located near coastal regions can have devastating consequences if they lead to large-scale tsunami events. The ocean floor is littered with thousands of volcanic structures, many of which remain active. The Pacific Ocean, in particular, is home to some of the most geologically active areas, including the Ring of Fire, where tectonic plates constantly shift and interact. This activity is responsible for some of the largest earthquakes and volcanic eruptions in recorded history. Scientists continue to monitor these regions, as any significant change in underwater volcanic activity could have widespread implications for marine ecosystems and coastal communities. So, is Yellowstone a ticking time bomb or just another geological wonder? The truth is, while a super eruption is possible, it's not something we need to fear in our lifetime. The last major eruption 
occurred approximately 640,000 years ago, and while the caldera still shows signs of activity, there is no indication that a catastrophic eruption is imminent. However, that doesn't mean we shouldn't stay informed. Advances in geological research and seismic monitoring allow scientists to better predict potential threats, giving us more time to prepare for natural disasters. Understanding Earth's most powerful forces is crucial for our survival. Supervolcanoes, whether on land or beneath the sea, shape our planet in ways that are both awe-inspiring and terrifying. The more we study them, the better equipped we'll be to handle their unpredictable nature. What do you think? Should we be worried about Yellowstone? Or is it just another overblown doomsday scenario? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of super volcanoes, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.